a snake, man, you been alive. I, 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 cut us down, man, you multiply. I don't care, man, I fly to you. Air Jordans while I take flight. That was a line from back in the day. Big up, Gershom, hope you're doing fine. I, I, where the time go? Bye bye to my old flow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Essence of Shay. Before we get anything started, don't forget to like comment and subscribe right now the family is at let me see let me see let me see let me see the sub count app the family is now at 8411 we are trying to hit 10,000 by December 31st 2018 that is the goal for the rest of the year so let's get that goal let's get right into the video okay so in this video i want to talk about the top 10 oils that you need any lockhead needs in their collection or what you can just do is go purchase my covet oil wherever it's going to be on the screen go purchase that and it has these oils plus many more in there but yeah, I have notes because y'all know I like to ramble and just go off, right? So I have I have my notes right here, right? So number one oil is tea tree oil. Tea tree oil cleanses, uh, purifies, strengthens the, um, the hair follicle. Tea tree oil is also good for your scalp if like you have any like scars or anything like that or the itchiness that goes on in your scalp that's good and not only is it good when you're washing your hair but it also is good for your skin like if you have like body acne and stuff like that next is peppermint oil not only does it smell good and leave a tingling sensation in your hair thus promoting hair growth it's also antibacterial so peppermint oil i use in my covet oil and i also use in my lavender hair spritz a lot of you guys have said that you love the smell and you also love what it's doing to your hair so you guys rock third oil which is a major component for my lavender hair spritz is lavender oil <laughs> Duh. This oil prevents hair loss. That's the main key with this oil and why I have it in my lavender hair spritz because we don't want hair loss. I mean, nobody really wants that. Unless you really want the ball look, then yeah. But yeah, nobody wants that. And then your hair smells like, like you just bake some fresh cookies, boo, and you out there living your old life like who don't want lavender all up and through their hair this next oil is not only good on chicken <laughs> any poultry dish not only does it smell good but it's also good for dry and dandruff scalp and it prevents thinning or it tries to help you reverse the cause of thinning and that oil is rosemary oil Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next is chamomile oil. This is also good for ac acne on your face, on your body, wherever. Why is it beneficial for your hair? It can brighten your hair if you don't want to use dye. Well, brighten it over time. This is not going to be overnight, people. And it also heals bumps and bruises on your scalp, which is a key necessity because you know when you be scratching, you be scratching that sucker so daggone hard and it be feeling good. You don't realize that you're ripping your scalp. And then later on you feel like you have like little scabs and stuff on your scalp. Chamomile oil can help with that. It can sis. It can. These next two oils prevent hair loss. And these oils are cedar oil and clary sage oil. Cedar and clary sage oil combine. I would combine them because they both do the same exact thing but if you just want one over the other it all goes by smell because cedar is a little bit woody and strong sage i love this the smell of sage it almost reminds me of like cooking or like the rosemary scent so it all the it all 
is on you which one you want to go for but they both do the same exact thing which is preventing uh um hair loss and premature hair loss hey guys it's your girl shay question have you subscribed because you're always here you might as well just join the tiger lily squad gang gang and turn on your notification bells all right let's get back to the video time or thyme whatever how y'all say it is another oil that prevents uh hair loss but this one is a little bit stronger so a lot of people tend to run from these type of things but with all these oils you are mixing them with carrier oils like the olive oil the jojoba the avocado the grapeseed the olive oil the coconut oil things and such the black seed oils all of these essential oils that i'm listing you have to combine them with something because they will be too strong for your scalp and if it burn up all your scalp you can't blame me because i'm giving you full warning eh? so even though the thyme oil is strong you can always mix that in with some peppermint and then mix that in with olive oil or whatever it is that you're going to put in your hair in the moment or if you're spraying that in your hair, you have your aloe vera juice, you have your rose water, you have regular distilled water. It just depends on what you're using to put that essential oil in your hair, but you always have to mix it with something. This oil is my favorite oil and not because I, <laughs> I don't use the oil form, but I use the actual product for my cooking i'm talking about cooking a lot am i just hungry i am but this oil i love it dearly it's my favorite 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 oil which is the lemon oil it cleans and clarifies the scalp it aids in the itchy scalp feeling it leaves you smelling like a lemon fresh summer lemon garden like all these things I just don't understand why you may have a problem purchasing it because who don't want to smell like peppermint who don't want to smell like lavender who don't want to smell like time I don't really want to smell like time lemon oil is also good for scalp infections whatever if it's caused by product if it's caused by whatever ailments that happen in life cause you to have infections on your scalp lemon oil is really good for that you know how they always tell you to refrain from stress because that will cause some damage in your hair well this oil will help you with your stress it will help you with your dry and irritated scalp it will soften the hair and that oil is called yang yang lang 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 Yang lang 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 oil lang ya lang but why is the why there if you're not even going to use it like why so those are my top 10 oils that i essential oils that i feel like every lockhead needs but i have two extra that can possibly help y'all out if for instance, one of these oils you don't feel like you want to purchase because they don't sound up your alley. I have two extra ones that you can add on to your list. The first one is patchouli oil. This is good for people who have eczema. That happens on your skin as well, not just on your, um, I mean your scalp as well, not just on your skin. So patchouli oil is good for that. Only problem is, is that this has a very very strong scent but the benefits of it is amazeballs last but not least is eucalyptus oil eucalyptus oil you know how we use eucalyptus to just open the sinuses to just let you calm down it puts you in your zen moment when you're in the shower you hang a eucalyptus plant because it just opens everything up that's all fine and dandy but we're talking about for hair. Why is eucalyptus oil good for the hair? I'm going to tell you. It improves shine, thickness, and overall health, which what we're looking for of your locks, sis. Like, come through with the come through. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Listen in the comment box below any of these essential oils that I've listed that you already use and which ones you think you're going to try and which ones you think 
don't sound too copacetic for your lock hair journey. Let me know in the comment box below. If I missed out any, let me know in the comment box below as well. We always have a little discussion and stuff that goes on in the beneath and you guys help each other out as well and i love my tiger lily squad all right y'all go to my second channel that girl with locks and subscribe also my podcast with my fellow king well he's not my king but he is a king so he's my fellow king it's too much go to it it's called the locked in where we talk about everything that people are scared to talk about or would rather talk about in the confinements of their home. <laughs> and he has a nice little southern accent, so I know you ladies will like it. All right, see you later, Tiger Lilies. I gotta go so far. Why do I put it so far? Tudo. Crash course. Let me have the money in the dashboard. Max, mad, could you lost the brick inside the Porsche? Goofy with the curve.